In this video, we are going to see how to install MongoDB Community Edition 6.0 on Mac OS. We are going to follow the official MongoDB tutorial and this video is for total beginners who are just getting started with MongoDB. Our very first step is to go ahead and open our terminal. So go to launchpad, type terminal and click on it and this is going to open your terminal. Now to install anything related to MongoDB, you need to install something else first and that's called Xcode. Uh, you might have this already on your computer because a lot of other software, they need these tools too and I already have it. But if you do not, you should use this command. So Xcode select install. Now because I already have the tools installed, for me it says command line tools are already installed. For you, if you do not have it, it's going to get it installed. Okay. So now that's over. The next step is to install another software package called Homebrew. And this makes the total installation procedure very easy. So you go to the next, this web page brew.sh and I'm going to include all the commands and website addresses that I'm using right now in the video description. So please check that if you wanna easily copy paste commands and follow the links. Okay, so now that we are inside the homebrew installation tutorial, just go ahead and copy this command and go back to your terminal and paste it here. It's going to ask you for your password and then you press enter. So right now we are getting homebrew installed on our machine. Depending on your internet speed, this might take a few minutes. And Homebrew is another software that you might already have on your computer if you have used this for other software. This is very useful. Okay, so we are done with uh, Homebrew installation and we are ready to move to the next step. So let's go back to our MongoDB tutorial here. So this is the command that I showed, Xcode select uh, and we got homebrew installed. So next step is to run this command. So brew tap mongodb slash brew. So I'm going to copy this and come back to terminal. So let's actually clear the screen. So I'm going to type clear and I'm going to paste the command. So, next one is brew update. So, it's already updated because we just installed it. Now, we're going to install MongoDB. You can also check the commands here. So, we are installing MongoDB Community Edition 6.0. If you are trying to install any other version, please modify the command accordingly. So 6.0 is the latest version 
right now. Another important thing to remember is for macOS, the installation process is pretty straightforward. So not only it installs MongoDB, but it will also give you other required software such as MongoDB database tools, the command line interface. Uh, so you do not need to go ahead and install other stuff. Now after the installation is finished, you see we get a message at the very end. To start MongoDB, you can use this command. Now we are going to copy that command and paste it here. So this is going to be brew services start MongoDB slash brew slash MongoDB community. And this command is going to actually start MongoDB. So we are going to run MongoDB on our system now. and this service is now started and we are ready to start using MongoDB. Of course, we can do not see anything right now related to MongoDB, but what is happening right now is MongoDB is running in the background. We have to just connect to it. So the command to do that is mongo sh and we go inside MongoDB now. We can see this is the prompt test and that allows us to write some commands. So let's test our installation. We can test with something basic, show DBS and that's going to display the databases that we have. So by default you might have fewer mm, databases. So I have some existing ones like cooker and files, but you should see admin, config and local. You could also try other commands, but it is okay for now. We know that MongoDB is working and we can exit out of MongoDB typing the exit command. So that is all for this video. In the next video, I am going to show you how to import files into MongoDB and test some of the more advanced commands. Thank you.